Let's go up to ringside and the announcer, Benny King. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This World Championship card is brought to you by Texas Boxing Commission, Charles H. King, Jr. Sitting on my side over here is legal counsel, Attorney General Wagner Carr. World, Rep World Boxing Representative, Jay Edison. The officials for this bout, counting for the knockdowns at the bell is Jimmy Lee. The timekeeper, Woody Myers. Judging on this side, Ernie Taylor. The doctor on this side is Dr. Arthur Moores at ringside. And judging on this side is Chris Jordan. The referee in the ring for this fight is Jimmy Webb. And now, 10 rounds, bringing together two outstanding youngsters whom the world is watching tonight. From Houston, 203 and 3 quarters pounds, Todd Herring. And his opponent, also from Houston, 210 and 1 quarter pounds, the big cat, Cleve Williams, 10 rounds. <laughs> Fellas, you both box for me. You know what I want. I want you to protect yourself at all times. Keep your hands up at all times. Break when I ask you to. The man who's holding, I want him to let loose. You understand? If either man goes down, he's got to take an eight count. You understand? Three knockdowns constitute a knockout. You understand that? Any, any questions you want to ask about? Shake hands and come out fighting, fellas. Final battle, Cleveland Williams, six feet two, age 32. He'll be wearing the black trunks. Todd Herring will be wearing the lighter trunks. They are actually red. He is six feet three and a half. Both boys are punchers. Herring in his career has scored 19 knockouts. And Williams has scored the most knockouts of anybody in boxing. That's Williams with 50 knockouts in 70 bouts. Williams is in the midst of a comeback. And Herring is trying to make the big time. Williams at one time was the hardest hitter in boxing. We have to see if he has his old time punch. The referee is Jimmy Webb. You may remember him as a mighty fine light heavyweight contender back in the late 1930s and early 1940s. Jimmy is no longer a light heavyweight. Herring has been finding Williams with a good left hook. That's Williams doing the jabbing.
ending round one. We go back to the corner of the big cat, Cleveland Williams. That's you, Benbo, his manager, and the man who has done so much for him in there, along with Roxy Kalo. Williams was born in Griffin, Georgia, June 30th, 1933. 32 years old. In fact, he'll be 33 years old in two days. He's six feet two, weighs 210 and a quarter pounds. Williams has had 70 professional fights. He's won 64 of them, 50 by knockouts, lost five, and had one draw. He was stopped three times, twice by Sonny Liston. Williams was in difficulty a little over a year ago and uh, almost died from a gunshot wound. But he's in the midst of a comeback now. We're coming up to round two. It is scheduled for 10 rounds. Williams is in the black trunk, and Herring is in the lighter trunk. The referee is Jimmy Webb. There aren't many who think this bout will go the limit, by the way, because of the knockout power of each boy, and of course, punchers leave themselves open. Don't go in too much for Pretty good left jab in this round. beat the count. Ten seconds left. Ted Herring's corner now, if you can hear me, was born in Houston, Texas, July 2nd, 1937. He's six feet three and a half, weighs 203 and three quarter pounds. In the corner with him facing him are his trainer Perry Payne, and the other man is Shifty Dando. Uh, Herring has had 31 fights. He's won 26 and lost five. He has scored 19 knockouts and has been KO'd three times, all technical knockouts. That was quite a round of slugging, one of the biggest rounds of slugging in a long, long time. Round three coming up. There's the bell. 
Williams seemed to have his old time punching power in that round. Helling is staggered again. by a knockout in about 17 or 18 seconds of the third round. 25, 25 seconds other. of the third oh, round. The winner, stopped by the referee, Cleve Williams. The official time was 25 seconds of the third round, the winner is Cleveland Williams, who has just scored his 51st knockout in 71 fights. And he looks as though he is very well on the comeback trail. Until he ran into Sonny Liston a couple of years ago, Williams was the outstanding contender for the heavyweight honors. The champion at that time was Floyd Patterson. But Williams ran into a very good Liston and was KO'd a couple of times, and that set him back. And then he had the gunshot accident, almost died, and he's very, very grateful to his manager, Hugh Benbo, the curly-headed fellow you see standing there in the civilian suit, uh, for helping him to make a comeback. And uh, Williams went to work on Benbo's farm, lifting bales okay, of hay. Okay, dead game by Todd Herring. Todd Herring. Herring certainly put in a, a game attempt there. Uh, we're waiting now for the main event, the WBA Heavyweight Championship between Ernie Terrell and Doug Jones.